folks, so welcome back to Queen City Gaming. Today we have a, actually two brand new armies appearing on the channel. So, Mr. Taylor is back. He seems Hello. to be quite a regular recently. <laughs> Alright, so guys, I have my uh, brand new, freshly painted, well, except for five uh, bounders there, uh, <laughs> Gloom Spike Gets Army. I do have to finish up that shrine. It has just got washed, so it looks pretty terrible, but it'll get finished up. Against the brand new Ogors. Yep. So uh, Mr. Taylor has converted a lot of his characters and stuff, and yep. his our models look fantastic. Thank you, thank uh, you. All right. So today, guys, we are playing in the Realm of Death. Yep. And we You're have the... Border War. Yep, Border War. So we have the Realmscape feature Etherquake, so plus one casting to everything. Yep. Which only benefits me, not you. Yeah, it doesn't benefit Yay. me. Yay! Oh, well. But... We are playing Border Wars, so we have one objective here. This will be my territory. Then Mr. Taylor's is under the glutton with the flag right there for his. And then we have our two side ones. Yep. Okay. Alrighty. So, Army let's go over armies. So go ahead, Mr. Taylor. Alright, so I have three heroes, uh, two battle line and a battalion. Okay. My heroes are a tyrant. He has the... So we're blood... We're, first off, we're blood gullets. Yeah, he's got all the weapons. Yeah, so his command trait is a drop of the good stuff. Or drop of the red stuff, so if my unit is holier than 12 of him, they can pile an extra 3 inches. So I have 6 inch pile in on my uh, gluttons and iron guts, which is pretty good. So he's just drinking blood wine, pretty much. Yep. Okay. Um, my butcher okay. has uh, the blood gullet artifact, the uh, like flesh cleaver. Whenever I kill, or I, I kill a model, or yeah, kill a model, I can then heal units around him. Which will be 3 heal heal ogres around him. It's great. Okay. Um, he knows. Uh, Greasy Deluge and Blood Feast. Greasy Deluge, uh, pick a unit. It's one to hit. Blood Feast, pick a unit. It's plus one attack. Um, uh, then we also know the Realmscape features, all, all the Realmscape spells. Um, he only casts one na or, uh, natively, knows one natively, but I'm Blood Gullet, so it's plus one to both. That's why he knows two spells, and he can cast two spells. Yay. Um, the Slaughter Master, he knows Ribcracker. Uh, his base, ba base spell, Rock Chomper. Then he'll know uh, Flesh Crave Curse. And then all the uh, various Realmscape ones. And he has the artifact, because I have a battalion, of uh, Wizard Skinned Apron. So he casts an additional spell. So he will cast three spells a turn. And he um, got his goodie pot. Yep. Yeah, I, I, I'm terrible and uh, forgot my uh, pot at home. So Jordan's being kind of let me use this little train feature. Yay. It gives you plus one casting. So I'll be plus two to cast on all these wonderful spells. It's the high chair of I eat first. Yeah. And then it's uh, Unit Six Gluttons with their uh, Crusher, their Lookout Noblar. Uh, Bellower, and four Iron Guts with their uh, Rune Maw and a Bellower. No uh, Skull Banner? Oh, uh, no Skull Banner. Don't need that. Okay. And then we got what? Four, four, iron, four iron Guts. Four Iron Guts. Yep. Plain Jane Simple. Yep. Here to, here to wreak havoc. Here to Iron Gut things up the yep. most. And my battalion is the Tyrant's Band. Yeah, so, so I can shrug off wounds to my uh, Iron Guts from a Tyrant. Okay. Fun times. Yep, that's what I got. So uh, <laughs> my army are the uh, the Gloom Spike Get. Specifically, we're playing All Squigs. Everything's Yay, on squigs. squigs. All right. So we have a unit of five uh, bounders, unit of 12 squig herds, so 10 squigs and two herders. Uh, 10 of the. No, these are the. Which is which? These are bouncers. Hoppers. Oh, those are hoppers. Yeah, no, those are so hoppers. The yeah. big little ones, the spears, are bounders. Okay, so those are bounders. These are hoppers. Sorry, yep. guys. Getting my <laughs> units mixed squig up. Herd. So. Uh, mini boss on bigger squig. Two more hoppers and loon boss. Mick, I don't have a name yet. We, we, we're not all cool like Mr. Taylor and name our, our squigs. You gotta have some names, man. Uh, yeah. Tyrant Gorbosh. He's ready to eat. Yeah. Oh, I did forget. Uh, so every tyrant has a name. Mm -hmm. His name is Fate Seeker, so he's a 3 Okay. So uh, as far as relics and stuff. I've got the uh, little shield thing that makes it to where if you roll a six to hit me, it does a mortal wound back to you. Good. <clears throat> Pretty good. And he's going to take the warlord trade of somethingness. Something, somethingness. Somethingness. Um, where was that in here? The great something of somethingness. Oh. Uh, oh, he's going to take fight another day. So. Oh, another is good. Yeah. So when I attack, I can run away to these six inches, and I have to be more than three inches away from enemy units after that move. Oh. Okay. 
All righty. So Mr. Taylor finished first. I did. So the ever the the, the most you know tactical question of the day. You go first. I go first. You oh, go first. I figured so. Yep. Okay. We're real fast. We're not that fast. Let, right. let the gobos get a little closer. So uh, what is the move <coughs> of your? Uh... So we are uh, six move base plus two because we're not in combat and we're hungry. Okay. Move eight. So move eight. So sixteen inches. Yep. All right. I miscalculated this last time because I forgot that, <laughs> you know, wonderful beasties can run and charge, but... You did forget that. You want to come here and fight me? No, I want to bounce over you and do mortal wounds to you. That's a good call. That's a good call. So that's 12 inches. And you have to be within three to, uh... Six inches for these. Six inches. Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's just make this easy. Okay. Make it a lot better for me. So, Mr. Uh, this big guy is going to move. 3d6 inches. Yeah. Well, we'll do the hoppers first. Okay. They're also 3d6. Yeah. So, uh, this unit here is going to move. I'm going to go 10. Let's see if that will get me about where I want to be at. So, we got to go right there. It should be, yep, so it gives me that objective. Um, so this unit here, oh wow, it's uh, going real, real far. 17 inches, I, I don't need to go that far, but. Oh, come on, excuse me. There, uh, sorry guys, came from back there, just moving up there. All right, next unit. So this unit right here, uh, they are not going that far. Mm -hmm. They're just going to be like, yep, right there. All right, and the, uh, the bounders are going to bound forward a solid seven. So you know, they can't run, can they? They can't run and charge, but they can run if you want. Uh, yeah, they'll advance. Why not? <laughs> the whopping one. One more inch. That way, uh, they get in position to counter charge. So, bigums goes to 12, so just go right there. And little ones, he goes 2d6. <laughs> so, wop wop. Wanna run him? Yeah, might as well. <laughs> well, there we go. Oh. That just happened. Alrighty, so here we go after, uh, here's my movement. I don't have any magic. Oh, I needed to gain a command point. Yep, so command point. Mr. Taylor starts with a command point because he had a battalion. I did. Uh, I don't have any shooting. Uh, actually, no, I can move these guys. And is it tag, I get the objective, or does it have to stay and hold it? Uh, you have, you have them now, and you'll, like, and when you okay. leave, you'll have them. I said once you uh, finish a move, finish your move near it, mm -hmm. uh, you have it. Uh, when you leave, you'll still have it until I come and take it. Okay, that's more what I was. Yes, Squid hoppers. Yeah, I need to get unit cards. Uh huh. There we go. All right, so squid herd just moved five. They do not move right. They're going to move. Four. Ooh, nine. <laughs> Get them on up there now. Alright. So we're at 23. We're going to go 9. So 3. 6. Alright. Okay. So that is going to be squigs. So we get uh, took control of that one, took control of that one, and we have this one back here. So on to Ogors, turn one. All right, so at the game point? Yep. Uh, I couldn't afford to buy one. Cause I, you know, I got a lot of stuff ogre-wise. Yeah, I, two. <coughs> I couldn't either. I was exactly a thousand points in this. 
list. Yeah, so I have to two command points now. Um, we'll start with uh, we're gonna yank from the pot. Okay. The big boy, uh, his own pot, the big pot. Uh, five is picking within six inches. Hey, turns out you're not within six inches. Yay. So it's useless. Then we will start with some spell casterinos. Yeah, ogres actually have some pretty fighty yeah. wizards. They do. Turns out. Uh, we'll start with blood feast on the uh, gluttons. Okay. I give it a seven. Okay. Uh, I give it a nine because of plus one plus one. Yep. Uh, they all have plus one attack on my gluttons. Okay. Um. Then we will do. Uh, Um, uh, Night Shroud okay. from the uh, uh, it's a realm spell from him again. Plus two, five becomes seven. I get it. Okay. We'll put Night Shroud on uh, the Iron Guts so they're not going to hit. Okay. Is that just to your next hero phase, right? Hmm? Just next to your hero next hero phase. phase. Yep. Because uh, he does. Oh, yeah. I just get mine actually. I don't know why. Yep. Yeah, Mr. Taylor likes to steal, uh, steal and lose tape measures very often. 24. Cool, I'm in range. So I'll cast Greasy Deluge. Uh, four becomes six, it casts on mm. a seven. I'll get it. Okay, All right. so close. Okay, uh, we'll start with uh, uh, Rock Chomper. Okay. Uh, get with a seven. Put it on Iron Guts. So they uh, six is the wound with their bites on Mortal Wounds. Okay. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll cast his second spell. Yeah, his second spell, because I did one, 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 two, one. So he's one left, so he's one left. Okay. Do Voracious Maul from him, his last spell. Uh, six and three becomes nine. Nine plus two, eleven. Yep. So uh, we'll definitely pick go off. The Hoppers. Okay. They suffer three mortal wounds. Okay. Keeps going. Woo! For another mortal wound. Okay. It doesn't go. So these are uh, four mortal wounds totals. Two dead hoppers. Yep. Sad times. And of course they got stuck in the movement tray and you know, had an accident. But all right. Um, then we'll just uh, ethereal guide the the uh, iron guts. Okay. Five becomes seven. Ethereal guide is a realm spell. Yep. Six. Pick the gluttons like plus one to hit. Now someone cast him. Okay. Oh, I need to roll. So he casts two spells. He's good. He casts three spells. He's good. I'd be healing. I can't. I would heal themselves, but they're not wounded. So okay. here we go. Is it what a two up? Two up. And then a one does nothing, or does a one, one take one wound? Okay. All right. Plus four something. Yeah, that's just random dice. Okay. We'll do it. I should know that. We'll go over there. <laughs> no, we'll go here. We'll go here. The, uh, we'll take this. The joys of being an ogre player. You don't have many models to move. No, you don't. So you have to be very strategic with the models you do have. Yeah. So. Luckily, their healing ability is pretty crazy. Yep. No. No. He's a bit top heavy. Well, Buffy is on you. Rock Chop is on you. Okay. Uh, shooting. We actually have some shooting this time. Yeah, over pistols. Taren's got two shots with his pistols. Oh, you gotta pick a target. This is uh, very rare for Mr. Taylor to have shooting. I don't usually shoot too much. We'll shoot the mango quick. Uh, both hit. Okay, uh, hold on, that six may do a mortal wound to you. We're looking to see if it's just melee attacks. Keep rolling, though. You get them both. Okay. That is range one. Alrighty. <coughs> Plus things, artifacts. Get shield up. Oh, no, just melee weapons. Okay. 
So, big boss. Has Two at random one. Has a save of four, so. Five now? Five. Six Four, four damage. Ugh, a D3. D3 apiece. Gross. Big shots, big shots. Okay, we're gonna start with some charging. Okay. Uh, gluttons. Six. You don't know if you have it. Won't, it won't, it won't. It won't. No, okay, I thought it was like seven or eight away. We'll roll it. Point. Eight. Eight that is it enough. should have it. Yeah, eight is enough. Yeah. Put him there. Gone back one extra inch. Um, same thing, you can eight for them. Okay. Five. Uh, what's my last command point? Reroll it. Six. Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. We'll just fight here. Fight there. Okay. We'll pile in. They're both equal inches, so I can still just pile in this way. Yep. He'll pile in that way. He'll go up. He'll go that way. Go that way. Yep. So we'll put a uh, two into there, four into there. <coughs> so I did blood piece, so I have three attack space. Um, my boss has four in that unit, and the uh, bell one. Threes and threes. Oh, well, no, that's great. No, that's great. These are gonna. Oh, that six was extra hit though. So okay. uh, three, uh, no rend, two damage a piece. Into who where? The uh, herd. The herd. So there are the sixes. Six up. Picked up. Oh, made one, so four. Four, four damage. <coughs> Alrighty. Bites. All of it. Squids are two wounds each, aren't they? Yep. Uh, as four bites in the four wounding bites, and there's one six. That's one mortal wound. Okay. And then four six up saves. <coughs> four six ups. One damage piece. That's Another. five total damage. So. So nine in total. Uh, it will take the fraud. Uh, then we'll do four and do the other side. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three. No. A little better. Oh, that six is an extra hit, which we got in there. Yep. Uh, five. Okay. No room. So uh, your bounders are just four up saves? Four up saves, so four up. Uh, it's four dead bounders. Are they one wound? No, they're two wounds. There's two wounds each. Oh, they're two wounds each. Yep. Okay. Four dude becomes uh, eight bites, because they're two bites apiece now with blood piece. Okay. Four more. No rim. One damage piece. Yeah, fours. Uh, uh, one dead, one wounded. Yep. You get to fight back. Okay. Make sure it goes away. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll go with the boundary since they're here. Alright. So. Pile in. Just gotta come around there. Five in total. Two attacks apiece with the. Uh, Yep, so two, four, six, eight, ten. So we'll do the uh, the bounder boss pull since he has plus one to hit. So hit on threes. Uh, one hit. And then everything else. Hitting on threes. Okay. They did not charge, so we don't do more wounds. But fours. Two, four. Three, four. Yep. Uh, take two, fell two. Two damage. Okay, two, four, six, eight, ten. They have three wounds each? Four. Four, okay. Big beefy boys, Thinking. four piece. Thinking, old world. All right. Hitting on <coughs> fours with squigs. And threes to win. That's really good. Rolling up better than uh, our last game. Yeah, I'm rolling much better than the Stormcast. So three. Or, yeah, three. Uh, make one tell two. Okay. Three three. Okay. 
And then clickers. Yep. Cause a little pile hit on this way. Him that way. Yep. And him. So, so you hit all men. Two, three. So do your goblin first. Yep. Do the poking sticks. So two hitting on fives. Nothing. And then you're hurt. Two. Three. There's six there. Four, five, and six. Alright. Hitting on fours. Yeah. Fours. Yeah. That's fours not right. That's mm -hmm. not squeak herd. No, whoops. You're, you're, one, you're one, yeah, each. one over. Still fours and fours. Okay. Okay. And that two there. Yeah, two. Pretty good though. Okay, not bad. <laughs> Better than my herd usually do. <laughs> Three. Uh, Five. Four. Oh, Ooh. L3. Okay. We did that boy. Yay. Got one one remaining. Alrighty. Yeah. Uh, that's all the attacks over there, I believe. That's bravery. Yep. So. Uh, your neg one comes my battle order. Okay. Uh, okay kill, you do yours. I'll do mine. So yep. I lost one. Ooh, so I'm still good because six makes me uh, seven. Okay, and you're leadership seven. I'm leadership in the combat, so I'm leadership eight. Nine because okay. of banner. <laughs> so the squigs are bravery two, and they lost five. Yep. So six, seven, eight, so I lose six. So we'll do the runaways. Yep. Two, four, four plus. Six. Four pluses do mortals. Uh, oh. Take four mortal wounds. He's down. And he'll be at. Two wounds up. Okay. Pretty much the only thing left is that Gobbo, though. Uh, your bombers? Bounders. Um, they lost. We're just going to command point them to. Good call. Make sure they stay good. Okay. okay. Uh, top of turn now. Uh, so, oh, so before either, though, you can score. So, so I get that one. Yep. Uh, I definitely get this one because of. Oh. So I have three. So every one of my dudes counts as two. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, so I got that one. And for this one, I've got three in. So that's six to your. One, two, three, four. So you got that one. So I have uh, one, three, seven. Okay. Two. Two. I have two. Besides your two, right? Hmm? Besides Side your two. two. Yep, so I have two. Alright. Uh, okay. So. Alright. Four. I got a three. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. Yeah, I, I would take it too. <laughs> this is gonna be a... <coughs> a hefty turn. Yep. Okay. Uh, the only thing I can say is I hope you fail all your magic. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna, uh, start with a command point. Back to one command point. Okay. Um, start with, so you know Greasy Delusion Blood Thieves. Yep, the cracker is over here. Uh, da -da -da -da, Blood Thieves is there. Watch out for that. Um, we're gonna start with, we're gonna empty the pot, because we've a hero here. We're gonna heal yep. him, D3. Okay. Back to full. Okay. Because I won't, won't want him to run away. <sighs> Nothing else is wounded. Oh, we jumped in the big pot. Oh, uh, ooh. Mortal wound. Takes it. Takes a mortal wound. Should have yeah, done that yeah. and then healed, but whatever. Yeah. Um, he'll cast Rip Cracker. Uh, nine becomes 11. Okay. Make one save on the big boy. Okay. Rip Cracker. Yay. Um. <clears throat> Then we'll do, he will cast, uh, Ethereal Guide, it's 8 becomes 10, okay. so we'll put it on them, so plus 1 to hit, okay. sitting on 2s. Um, then his third spell will be uh, A Natural Darkness, <laughs> 10 becomes 12. Yeah, so they're neg one to hit. Okay. Then we'll do Greasy Deluge. <laughs> 13. Put it on him, so he's neg one to hit. No 
we'll do Blood Feast. Nine because Jesus. What are these charge rolls last turn? Um, Blood Feast. Oh, did you do your mortal wound charge? I didn't. I forgot, so okay. that's on me. Next time. Next time. I, I always forget every time. It's, it's such a new rule that, you know. Uh, it's, it's every time I forget, and I'm like, <gasps> oh, like, oh, that could have. That could have done that. <clears throat> could have mattered. All right. Well, such is life on that one. So we're moving. I'm going to move to here, outside of three. Hungry, hungry, hungry. We are indeed hungry. We're hungry boys. <laughs> His base is real heavy. I was not prepared for that. <laughs> I always forget how much is uh, weighted down these bases. Yeah, those I don't know if you've seen Mr. Taylor's texture bases, paint. but they are uh, hefty um, boys. Super, super thick and <coughs> super converted. Yeah, I like. I've, I've been really taking uh, a lot of love in converting these boys. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Uh, he actually started converting the butchers and stuff before this army even, uh, before Feast of Bones or anything came out. Yep. So it's a very lucky coincidence. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. So we're gonna shoot. Two shots hitting on fours into the big boss. Uh, one hit, one miss. Uh, no lookout service doesn't apply because you're a monster. Threes. I get it. Ran to one. Okay. So you uh, make one two. save, so five. So six up. Got <laughs> you're it. Good. <coughs> Whenever you need those sixes, you get them. That's pretty oh. good. Um, iron guts. Four. I was going to cut I'm me close. I'm pretty sure you at least get the bounders. I don't think wrong. you have him. But. Command point. Six. Six. There yeah, we go. Yeah, you got that, that gets time. me. Plus, I'll have my uh, big pile in. Yeah. Well, I may last at least turn three in this game. You said you, you had seven points last time. Yep. Uh, the boss, what did I roll there? Uh, got a six here. Got a five here. Huh. So he's really in. Ow. <laughs> yeah. He's about to uh, mortal wound me to death. Yeah, we're going to charge the Slaughter Master. Jeez. Slaughter Master over here. And there. Oh, I got to roll for my uh, mortal wounds. Yep. Uh, so he casts three spells. I'm good. Okay. Uh, do I heal when I do that? Do you heal? Yeah, I heal. Okay. Yay, pull uh, butcher. And he's, fine. he's good. Okay. Yep. Okay. So we'll do I'll do our charges now. So we'll do his and him. Well, hold on. You just did your charge. You're doing your mortal, mortal your, wounds. Your mortal I should have done this to the charges. end. Yep. So I rolled a six for them. So yep. they just barely got in. Six is one. Okay. So I go five. Yep. What do you say minimum charges? Because I didn't record it. <laughs> Um, he had nine. You sure? Yeah, he was nine. He was eight. I don't remember. Yeah, him. I, won't, I won't do him then. Yeah. So, Slaughter Master, his is my nine. Okay. Sixes. Not a one. Okay. And then take one out and do it again. Uh, four, one. Okay. Into the bounders. Oh. Uh, we're going to activate the Iron Guts. We're going to pile and we'll pull him in. Not really too chuffed by it. All right, so we are going to get on twos with all of our mighty attacks. Okay. This is when I can spend the two command <coughs> points to interrupt, right? This is 40k. <laughs> I wish. I wish that was a thing we could do in this game. Uh, so Iron Guts are three attacks base. Okay. They are blood feasted. And that's my boss. So that's for the boss. Okay. That's for the second guy. That's for the third guy. And that's for the fourth guy. Everything going in, into the main squid. The big boss. Uh, twos, because I got uh, Ethereal Gaia. If I had a command point, I'd be real ones, but I used my command point. <laughs> to get them in combat. And they're like three red, two damage. Only it's one red, but it's flat three. Three's the wound. So that is a handful of them. Uh, three, six, nine. At, uh, what is effectively red, two. Uh, so nothing. Oh, now you're four up safe. Uh, so your Ren 2 takes you to six, and then your spell... No, I said the spell is neck oh, one. Oh, okay, so it's Ren 2 in total. Okay. Yeah, Ren 2 in total. The six is neck one save, and I'm Ren 1. 
I gotta roll one more. I'm uh, pretty sure you got him. So, two, four, <laughs> six, seven. That's 21 wounds. 21 damage. Pretty sure he's just uh, exploded. Exploded, yeah. Let's see here. There he is. Yeah, he exploded. Uh, roll it to see if he does more wounds when he falls. Yep. Uh, what is this? This is just one dice? Or? One dice. Four plus? Yep. Roll what six. So, what is that roll? Watch out. So, everyone within... Well, that's for each unit, so we'll say that was the... Uh, uh, those guys... Call. They take three more wounds. Oh, boy! <coughs> okay. Your uh, tyrant... Does. Hits it. Take three more wounds. Ooh! And let's see here. They're within six. And they're within six. So you're not, not cauldron guy. Butcher. He takes, takes it. it. He takes Take one. one. And then cauldron. Does not. Does take not. It. All right. So, so your you guys need, count it? Yes. You need to roll for mine. All right. So First unit. For him. First unit takes it. Okay. How many? One. Okay. This unit. Nope. Okay. That unit. Yeah. Yep. Just cocked. Two. Two. So kill one. Okay. And you can get your your little thingies off of there. You're that, done. Uh, oh, I, I emptied the pot. So the pot is empty. Yeah, you uh, <coughs> emptied the big hitters too. Yeah? Okay. Alrighty, so my activation. You gonna kill those iron guts? Or you wanna fight some other stuff? Uh, we're probably gonna have to go over here against the buttons. Good call. So. Power in this way. Yeah. We'll get within an inch. Okay. Two, three, four, five. So these are the uh, the poking sticks. Poking sticks. Looking for threes. Yep. Do you get the extra attack for your boss? Hmm. Do you get the extra attack for your boss? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. And three is the wound. Uh, two, four, six, eight. And so that's only gonna hurt a lot. Looking for fives. Uh, save four. Surprisingly, that kills one ogre. Okay. And now the squigs. They hit on fours as well, don't they? They hit on fours, wound on threes. Yep. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Do us a lot. Uh, six. And one. So we'll save one. That's another dead ogre. Okay. They, uh, oh, did change. pretty good. Yep. Lost two there. And, uh, wings below it. Okay. On that bell over there. Alrighty, what you gonna attack with next? Uh, I'm gonna fight with the butcher so I can use his artifact. Okay. Okay, so. He has a mighty cleaver, which is three dice. Hits. Such a good little gore rack on that guy. Three wounds. At rend minus two. Okay, so no saves. Uh, they are two damage piece. Okay. All right, and because of my beautiful, beautiful relic axe, relic cleaver, uh, the splatter cleaver, table of bears open, you're gonna save. In the combat phase, oh, okay. Okay. So cool, I will just make a note that he has indeed uh, had unnegated wounds. Okay. Your turn. All right. Oh, he's got a bite. Yep. Go and bite. I can do one wound. Three. Three. No rend, one damage. You're Saves. good. Somehow. All right. <laughs> the, uh, the butcher went in with a bite, and, uh, he managed to swing out of the way last second. Okay. So these guys just come pile in. That would just pop. That hurt a lot. So, uh, six quick attacks. Um, three hits. Uh, two wounds. Oh, two wounds. Rin? On the uh, on the, that guy. It's just from the big. Is that? Thanks, Mo. Okay. And then the <coughs> rider on top. Hitting on fives. Two hits. Uh... Nothing. No rain. Okay. Here you go. 
I am gonna buy with my tyrant. Okay. Go by one. And uh, it's just one left, right? Yeah. All just right. literally one wound on one guy. All right. So um. So he died. Yeah. There's a lot of text there. So he died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the tyrant definitely go kill him because he's got his club, his spear, and yeah, yeah, club, a spear, and his bite. Okay. Uh, um, boss on Mingling or Lumboss on Giant Cage Quick? Yeah, Lumboss on. Uh, Let's see if you can finish out that last uh, squig. that last gut guard. Oh no, no, this guy. Yeah, see if you can finish off my last gut guard. Oh, your gut. Oh, right, that's the battalion. All right, so he has the what is it? The did you give him the moon token? stabber? So yep. the stab and stick. The better choice. So hang on, force. Uh, so. Three hits. You probably want to eat your madcap at this point. Yeah. So re-roll, re-roll, re-roll your hits. Yeah, I might as, might as well. Eat your mushroom. It mattered. Yeah. Yep. And the reason. Uh, two. Rin? No. Nope, no Rin. Take one. One damage. You get him. All right. Now you're going to bite with the squig? Yep, squig. This is the one that matters. So, uh, hitting on fours. One hit. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Uh, Slaughtermaster. Yep. <coughs> Two d6 attacks with his, uh, his uh, uh, stump blades. Yep. Seven attacks. Four, six, seven. Hitting on three. Reroll that because I dropped it and roll it. Four hits. Wounded on threes. That's a whopping two of them. No rend, one damage. Alrighty, so mm. we're pretty sure there's sixes. No. So when we're dead, uh, then we're gonna bite you. Hits and wounds. Okay. No red one damage. Nope. One damage. Now a motley cruel grots. These are literally the guys stirring pot. Yep. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Uh, All right. So uh, you can pile in a fight. Yep. Two attacks with his prod and stick. I mean, prod and bag fights. Five and five. Oh, oh. One hit. Oh, kill him. One wound. That's a three. Yay. Go over there and kill the, kill the fat boy. Okay. That's um, good for me. We'll fight here. We just put all yep. three of our death of his attacks. Yeah, here you go. Nathan. And the uh, bounders. Bounders. Uh, that's an extra hit because it's six. That is whopping three, no rend one damage. No rend two damage. Three four ups. Yep. So one dead. Bite. Bite. Nothing. Okay. So, so that's uh, my turn. That's combat. Yep. Uh, you lost one from the uh, bounders. Yep. You're good. They're good. The witches. Uh, but I lose him because he's out of coherency. Yep. Um. The hoppers there lost a few. Yeah, they, they lost. Arranged that all of Eller's gone, so not not make. They lost two. All right, that's only four, one dice. Six. That's only one. All right, so three, four, five. I think they're okay. Uh, nope, you, nope. They lose one. Oh, so when you fail within six inches, or then how much of my banner? I lose my ring. Where was the guy you pulled at? Uh, right there. Yeah, I'd, right. I'd say yeah. So you lose an additional D3 or two more. Okay. Uh, do you mind lifting up your tyrant, good sir? Yes. There we go. Okay. Uh, end of my turn, I capture... Uh, I don't own your thing anymore. Nope. But I do definitely own that. So I have a three, a ten to your two. Okay. I'm out of command points again. And that is bottom of turn two for you. All right. So Ooh, there, I lost three. I'm bravery eight. I'm good. Okay. <coughs> Alrighty. So uh, this guy. So I gain a command point. What is his command ability? Oh, uh, uh, you move faster. That doesn't really help me. No. So uh, this guy's going to run away. He goes seven inches. Dude. Right. These guys are going to advance. Uh, 
Uh, this was 6, 9, 10, 11, 15. Well, well you'll take mine this turn. Yep, yeah, that's the... Oh, no. That's the hope. Go. She'll get a uh, 6 this turn. Pretty good. Okay. Um... So, yeah. Should we fight? I want to run away. But I can't. Do you? And hope you get top of turn and you charge? Yeah, I'm going to run away with this guy because if not, he is going to get turbo murdered. True facts. Four. So it'll at least get me out of combat. Alright, so we'll do combat there then. Yep. So, uh, three dudes will pile in. Yep. So, get rid of the movement trade just for simplicity. Poking sticks. Alright. So, the boss gets two hits. Regular dudes. Uh, miss on two. So, it's four poking total. hits. One more. Two hits. Two, two wounds. I'm good. Okay. And then squid, squid bites. This is where it matters. So four hits. And three. Five. I would say two, kill one. Uh, two ones left. Okay. Um, they'll come out here. We'll fight there. One. Win nothing. Two damage. Nope. Kills the hover. Nothing. Okay. Uh, you lost one. Yep. For every four. You, they run uh, away. Uh, hold on. If I'm twelve, within twelve. Uh, six. Is, that, is he your general? Oh, well, he is now. No, so he, no. Yeah. he's not general. So. so now they're gone. Yep, they're gone. It's Just a, sad a, day. A unit of hoppers. Uh, that gives me the control of that one. Yeah. You're outside of six, and I'm within it. Yep. Yep. So. All right. So that's this is a. It's much more bloody battle than before. Yeah. <coughs> so I've got two. Um, two, four, so six for you. So it takes you from two to eight. Yep. Eight to ten. Two, two, two. Not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, guys. So we, is that your roll? That's my roll. All right, Ooh. I'm going to take it. Good call. All right, so guys, we're going to take a quick pause here, clean up the battlefield a little bit, and we will be right back with turn three. Three. All right. All right, guys. So welcome back. We are at the uh, Squiggums turn uh, turn three. Yep, top of three. Not much left to do. Uh, this guy is. Let's see how far he goes. Eleven. So I guess he's gonna go. At the end of the turn, I've got to take that guy out so I can get this objective and score those points. True facts. So we'll go. Three out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um guys in the back are gonna go nine, so they're just gonna hang out Good back there. And then little dude's gonna run. He's gonna go eleven. And just be like, this is mine now. Okay. Alrighty, so, um, don't have any, oh, I could use this command explorer. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so he's going to charge in there. So the ones. Uh, seven. So he's going to go all the way. Over. So you make sure you're within, within six. Hmm? You make sure you're within oh, six. Oh, yeah, in within six. Yeah, because you want to be on that side of them. Yeah, so he's going to just be yeah. right there. You need your two wounds. You can do this. Okay. Hopefully. All right. We'll uh, do the uh, the squig first. Might as well. That's the best one that matters most. All right. Hitting on fours. Two hits. Three hits. Three hits. Three easy wounds. Two. Two. Takes them both. That's it. All right. Good deal. All right. So end of my turn. Yeah. I'm going to gain... One for here, two for there, so it goes up to, uh, so that's three, and then four for the back one. Yep, so you get seven points. So seven, so I go yep. up to 17. 
Or no, go up to 15. 15 to my 10. Okay. So we're here to visit. Yep. Uh, we're going to start out just uh, Voracious Maw. And I get it. And you take D3 Mortal Wounds. So two. On him, I take it. Yep. Okay. Goes again. And you take two Mortal Wounds. Okay. It's up to five. And you take I'm dead. three Mortal Wounds. All right, Voracious Maw. That had to happen. Um, that was for him. Two plus is good. Uh, he'll cast uh, Blood Feast. With the plus one, he gets it, so he'll keep their Blood Feast. His spell, oh, two plus. He's good. Uh, him. He'll cast Ethereal Guide on the uh, Gluttons, or the Ogres, or the Iron Guts. <laughs> they get it. Two plus. I'm good. I'll get from his pot. Nothing in range, they have Mortal Wound. Okay. Um, and we'll just do one more. A natural darkness. Oh. And they get it. Cool. Okay. Two plus. Cool. So they're super buffed up and nowhere to go. Yep. Super buffed up, nowhere to go. We'll run with the boss, with the butcher. Five. So his six becomes eight because he's five, not he's uh, hungry. And plus five for 13. Oh, it's gonna get me in to there, but you are also within range. Uh, they'll. But don't you count as three? He counts as two. Okay. And I'll just move here to hold this one. Uh, he'll run forward just to keep up, and he'll just stay on top. Okay. Uh, in my turn. I will capture two, four, six. Put me up to uh, 16. Okay. So uh, this is going to be the game of uh, run and tag objectives at this point. Yeah. All right. So uh, we'll... Top of turn is going to matter a lot here. Yep. Six. Four. So you got it. I'm taking it. I figured so. Yep. I got two command points. Okay. <coughs> Uh, we're gonna start with Voracious Maw onto uh, these bad boys. I uh, get it. Yep. You suffer D3 for one. Okay. Four plus. Happens again. For one. Okay. Four plus. Happens again. You suffer three mortal wounds. Okay. Four plus. Nope. Alright, so, so. Five total. Five total. So two dead, one wounded? Yep. Uh, two plus. It gets it. Um, then we'll arcane bolt. Eight plus two is oh yeah, well plus one. Um, so close. It's only one mortal wound. Okay. That kills that one. Uh, two plus takes mortal wound. Um, he'll pop in the pot. Two. Two. I can heal something, so we just heal him. Okay. Uh. He'll cast Blood Feast. Gets it on him. He's good. Ethereal uh, Guide. Gets it. Two plus. He's good. So Ethereal Guide on him. That's it for that. <coughs> okay. We'll. Uh, it's about six or so. Oh, there. Oh, yeah, moving. So right there. Uh, he'll shoot him. Okay. Two shots. Uh, one hits. It does not wound. Ooh. Alright, so he'll charge. Okay. Gets it. Let's go ahead and do your five. Yeah, good call. Yep. Now, what have we gotten? Nothing. No. Okay. It's the boss. Eight. That gets me in. Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, who's going? Oh, right, you're. Uh, Two more wounds. So that kills one. Yep. Uh, and he'll uh, blood feast with his hammer, with four attacks on his big hammer now. Okay. So um, <laughs> at this point, we just go say they were all dead. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a super close game for a little bit. It was really close on that one. That was way um, closer than before. Those, uh, those iron guts came in and were just like, nope, this is a dead mangler twig. And chopped, dead him, mangler. chopped him in half. Ah. Ah. But, um, yeah, the, uh, 
I was hoping to get a little bit more mo mobility in there, and it just didn't <coughs> quite happen in this game. They, Ogres uh, is way too fast. Being able, like, they, uh, the, the being hungry mechanic and running two extra, moving two extra inches, move eight on something so big that hits so hard is absurd. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and then uh, all the the buffing spells and things like that, the, like the, the amount just, you can buff, the amount you can cast, they are they are just a very very good army. I don't think they're like turbo broken, but um, they're definitely good. Yeah, um, um, I was I, I was expecting a little more from the the tune down on the FAQ, but it didn't happen. Yeah, but they're a lot of fun. I mean, they're still a really good army. We'll and, see. Yeah, um, uh, we'll see what happens when the points adjustments come out for that's the handbook. One. I think uh, gluttons are definitely going to go up. I think gluttons and uh, butchers. Yeah, gluttons and butchers. Or right. uh, so I think slaughter masters. I think butchers will stay one forty. I think slaughter master will be one sixty. Probably. I think the tyrant will go up to one eighty. Because <laughs> he's just really good. Yeah, I'm hoping the iron blaster goes down a little bit. I think iron blaster will go down. I think I think lead belchers might go to ninety instead of eighty. Yeah, because they're a really good little two man unit. Like yeah. in this game, they would have been great for taking objectives. Yep. So. All right. But yeah. All right, guys, so final score is going to be Ogres. Um, I mean, if I would have caught everything, I would have got. I would have killed them. So, so I would have taken one. four, five, six, seven. Which would you take me up to? 21. Uh, 23. 23. Yeah, 23. So 23, 16. 15, yeah, 16. So. Well, good game, man. I appreciate great it. Great game, though. It actually, you know, I went a whole turn longer than the Stormcast did against the Beast of Chaos. <laughs> but, yeah. So maybe one of these days I'll get a good game against Taylor. I, I though we did have a good squig versus Stormcast game. That, that one, was a great that one. That was a close one. That was a great one. Yeah. yeah. So hopefully uh, we can uh, solve the issue of getting table turn two. Taylor's just a good player, brings strong list and beautiful models. Um, I mean, like, look at this guy. He's got. He took the. Uh, what is that banner? So They're, that is the banner from Morn Vein that mm -hmm. I cut down. And I just hung meat bigs. If you look at the uh, the uh, Lord on uh, the uh, Beast Claw Riders on uh, Stonehorn, they had like the tied up free guilder. So I painted him to match my free guild army. He's hanging there, getting ready to get eaten, Very along nice. with some other big meaty bits. Very nice. And then he uh, did a custom conversion out of the bell from the uh, Screaming Bell kit. Oh, that's from the Great Unclean one. Oh, that's from the Great Unclean one. Okay. Yeah, even uh, more expensive model. <laughs> yeah, Z Zagash the Slaughtermaster. Uh, after they they slayed this big gribbly monster, he's like. I could cook in this, sure. <laughs> Which is why he's so gross and mutated. Yeah. He's got a got a little... Yeah, he did a custom butcher here. So, yeah, which isn't surprising because butchers are, you know, not surprisingly, they're completely sold out online everywhere. Yeah, they're uh, <laughs> real good. Yep, along uh, with the, all the uh, iron guts. Uh -huh. those, are, those are gone. Irons are gone. Everywhere. Like butchers are gone. <laughs> Just every, every model they have, like, is good. Mm -hmm. Um... <clears throat> Iron Blaster is not great, but it's that is the only thing I really think of in that book that it, I wouldn't be like. Yeah, it's good with that one tribe where you get extra six inches. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, if you play undercuts, they're 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 pretty good. Um, scrap launchers are amazing, especially in that battalion where the yeah. the the the, the, got, the knob are just like more more yeah, scrap more scrap. More scrap. scrap. Um, once I get once <laughs> I get my knob are finished up, I'm thinking I might just run like tyrant, ice brow hunter. And then just Noblar and then Scrap Launchers. Because there used to be a silly little like nonsense list. And like, here's 180 Noblar. Ah. Oh, it's gross. Yep. All right. Well, guys, this has been another fantastic battle report. It's been a fun battle report, even if I totally got wiped off the table. But not bad for uh, this is the absolute first time I've ever played this army. So yep. I think I did too, too bad. It was a good game. It was close. Little, like, if if, if it, I wasn't so fast, you would have been able to run me on the table. Yep. <laughs> so, but... Overall, pretty good. So, yeah. guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember, guys, please subscribe, please like, and please come back for another Sigmar Saturday, which will be next Saturday. We post battle reports almost every week, as long uh, with other videos, such as mm -hmm. War Scroll reviews and stuff like that. Um, we're probably going to do some painting guides eventually once I get a, a better top-down camera in my uh, yeah. desk set up. But guys, and then also remember on whatever Wednesdays we have stuff like Star Wars Legion, A Warhammer 40,000, and Warcry. So please come back, check out our videos. Please subscribe, guys, and help us grow this channel. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a fantastic evening. Have a good one, guys.